guys welcome back to my channel simply ray if you are new what's up what's good if you're not welcome back baby what's up you guys welcome back to my channel i just got home from my trip oh my god nothing is better than actually getting home from a trip long ass flight getting through customs you guys know what i'm talking about you get off that plane you call your uber and you are on your way to go home that is like literally the best freaking feeling. I haven't gotten a shower yet, and you know that feeling when you're on the plane and you're just ready to just get off the plane and take a shower. That's what I'm feeling right now. In today's video, I'm actually gonna be, you know, talking about how Turks and Caicos was and just like what to expect. You know, we're just gonna go over the whole shebang that we had went through in Turks and Caicos. I need to get my hair together. I need to take this makeup off. But anyways, I'll be back to unpack the bags. I'm gonna have a little talk, okay? So. Bye. See you guys later. I took my shower, you know, freshened up, threw on some regular clothes, and we about to actually unpack and talk about my trip. All right, you guys. So we're going to start. Don't know why this is in there. Don't even need it. So I'm put that to the side. So Turks and Caicos was a trip to die for. It was literally everything. I'm going to be putting all this stuff into the dirty clothes because I really do not need it at all. And... As you can see, everything is just plopped down. Literally everything is just thrown down because my lazy ass just did not want to just take everything out. But you know, we're gonna get into it. I'm not even gonna waste no time. So basically, we stayed there for four days basically and it was so freaking fun. Y'all, when I tell you, you guys have to visit Turks and Caicos. Like, Y'all need to put that on y'all bucket list and go there because when I tell y'all, y'all will not be disappointed at all. Like, I literally had a ball out there. And mind you, it was just me and my husband. Like, we was really having a grand old time. The vibe was lit. People are so friendly. Water is clear. The only thing is that we missed was actually the um freaking, what is it called? The sunset, like we for, we didn't see the sunset and I did want to see that, but the sun was setting fast. So we just never got the chance to walk our asses down to the beach because the place that we, the resort that we stayed was actually off the beach. And basically we were just all the way on the top floor. So we just was like, it is what it is. So we didn't never got to see it. We did hit up a lounge. That was fun. Um, the first night there, no, you know what really is so annoying is customs, y'all. Customs is probably the worst freaking place to be. So basically, if you don't know what customs is, if you go outside the country, you have to go through customs. No matter what airport you are, doesn't matter what country you are in, you have to go through customs because clearly they got to see where you're from. They just got to take all your information. So when we got to Turks and Caicos, like the actual country, like when we got there, y'all, it was a freaking line wrapped. Like when I tell you, it looked like a freaking, what is it? A ant maze. Like it literally was like going cut in different directions, but it was long. We were in that, I timed it. We were in that line for a good hour and 20 minutes. Like that's how long we were in that line for. Like it was just that freaking bad. Oh my God, look at this, this is so cute. This is what I bought him. This is what we took for our little kayak pictures. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still, I'm still putting everything in the dirty clothes because I'd rather stuff just, you know, get washed and taken care of. But anyways, right? So yeah, you go through, so you get off the plane. It's not like a regular airport area, basically. Well, it is a regular airport area, but um, when you're getting into the country, you don't like, you get off the plane and you walk all the way into cut like the first thing you're gonna hit is customs so you walk all the way in you hit the building and you're sitting in line so we were just sitting in line people were going freaking slow there was just babies crying there was just it just felt like i was gonna be sick because you know how like um when you're close when you're close as hell to people you feel like you're about like they're gonna be coughing on you like people don't know personal space like oh my god it was the worst going through customs like and we heard people on the plane um prior to like you know landing they was talking about yeah sometimes customs may be lucky sometimes you may not be lucky and i'm like oh my god me and my husband we looked at each other like i swear to god if this shit is gonna take years we're gonna be sad as fuck 
So we got there at, um, what time? We got there around two and we were in that line from three, like around three to four o'clock type of thing. I don't recommend. <laughs> Customs is a zero out of 10, you guys. I just feel like it probably just depends on the day and where you're going. I don't know. But that day, and we got there on Friday. So that was just not it. <laughs> that was just not it, okay? But anyway, so we get through customs. The next thing that happens, basically, once you get through the customs, they're gonna, you're gonna just leave you just leave the airport oh you know what happened so after customs right so me and my husband was talking because we were reading like the signs and they were basically stating go through the green line if you don't have nothing to claim or something like that so basically they're saying like claim like you don't have no liquor on you you don't have no like more than six hundred dollars or whatever the case like we were just reading the signs so tell me why so we get through customs they gave us our little slips letting us know like okay you're good you can go so we go through the green line. Why would we see the light? We're about to leave. Just imagine, you're about to leave. You're about to walk out. This is us. Oh my God, we just got through customs. Yes, it's time to go. Oh my God, I'm ready to get to this resort. Like I'm just ready, I'm hungry. That's me and his conversation. Why we get to the freaking door to leave, like outside towards transportation, why? Tell me why we get there and somebody pulls us out of the line. You know what these fucking people said? We're doing a random check, standing in this line. I'm watching everybody else. This is me, me and him. We're literally right here. When they pulled us out the line, all I see is people just going, going. And I'm looking like, why out of everybody it has to be me? It's like, you know, the moments where you're like, Oh my God, I know this is not gonna happen to me. Like, you know, you take that chance. No, there was no chance to take. They didn't give a fuck. They just took us out the line. So yeah, they ended up pulling us. The person that was in front of us basically was taking freaking long. Like, I don't know what they had in their damn bags, but they were taking so long. And they only had one person checked doing that random check. So we're just waiting in line, patiently waiting. This is us, do, 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 do. Might as well start twiddling our thumbs. So we're just sitting there and then finally, like five minutes later, they pull us. And I'm like, okay, we only got one suitcase, we're good. So we get there, they're starting to ask us questions. They're like, um, so what brings you guys on the trip? Do you guys have any like this, that, and that? How much money did you guys bring? Like they're just asking all these questions. And I'm pretty sure people that go out the country that goes into customs, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, we were just dealing with that. And I'm like, Oh my God, but it was fast y'all. It only took like three minutes. I ain't even gonna hold y'all. It only took three minutes, which I wasn't mad about. It was just the fact that what's the chances like out of every second or ev everybody in the world that was in that damn custom line, they end up picking us. Whatever, but anyway, so once we got done with that, I look back and it was this one guy that they pulled that had mad shit. Like they had bins full of stuff and I'm like, well, shit, y'all gonna be there forever dealing with that man. Like, what the hell? We almost done with the clothes part. I still got all this stuff. <sighs> I read online that the taxis, their only transportation was taxis and their taxis actually only take cash. So we were like, okay, well, we need to be prepared because I'm not about to be stuck. Like, no, and I'm trying to get to the resort. And we're like, no, we're trying to get to this damn resort. We're not about to sit here waiting. So there was an ATM right outside that little opening that we seen before they pulled us to the side. So we finally got the money and then we get pulled into a taxi. And then, um, and mind you, their taxi system is so funny to me because first of all, it, it just baffles me, okay? First of all, they drive on the left-hand side of the road. Turks and Caicos is basically the British territory. Everybody drives on the left-hand side. That's one thing that took me for the loop. I read so much about Turks and Caicos prior to going out there, but the fact that I'm sitting in the, the freaking taxi and they're really driving on the left-hand side was trippy as hell, y'all. Like, it was really trippy. They basically will just put everybody in the taxi. Like, that's just how it goes out there. And then um, they'll give you one set price per person and then you just go about your day. So um, the way the taxi person was driving was freaking ridiculous. Like, 
Oh my God. Like she was driving in the middle of the freaking lane. And then it's just making me so confused because I'm like, well, where are these people going? This lady driving in the middle. You got people that's on the right hand side driving this way. People even driving on the left. People turning into like, like, I was like, yo, what the fuck is going on? But yeah, she was just driving crazy, y'all. Like, chill out. I mean, she got us to where we needed to be. But like, god damn, chill out. Whatever, got us to where we needed to go. So we finally got to our resort. Oh my God. Our resort was amazing, you guys. First thing we did was eat. We definitely ate as soon as we got there because we were hungry. Standing in that line will have you messed up for a long, long time. It was like four o'clock once we got to the resort. So we were just like, okay, yeah, we can go to the beach tomorrow, see what the beach talking about. But we did like, you know, view the whole resort and their resort is actually really big and nice. I really liked it a lot. Their food, oh my God, don't get me started with their freaking food. I'm back y'all, I had to give me something to drink. Cranberry mango. I feel so much refreshed now that I had some of that because every time I talk too much, I swear I end up like losing my voice even more and it's just too much and my mouth get dry. The first meal that we had was seafood boil, but their boil is kind of different. Theirs was giving more like gumbo, clam chowder type of vibe. It was giving like that kind of, it wasn't like butter sauce. It was more like creamy sauce. Chef kiss. I promise you it was chef kiss. It was so freaking good. The potatoes, lobster meat, all of that stuff that was in it was amazing. It was amazing and I would eat it again. So that was our first food when we got there. While we were waiting on the food to come, we were actually sitting at the bar. That bar was beautiful too, like, oh my God. So we were just sitting there taking drinks after drinks after drinks. I probably counted at least about six drinks each. That's how crazy it was. Like we were really throwing them drinks back. It was that crazy. And this is my little purse that I had. Literally was carrying my whole life into this bag. And let's see what's left in it. Cause I know I was just throwing stuff everywhere. Like when I got home, I threw everything everywhere. So I got my little inklet, my lip gloss, my lash glue. Look at my stuff just everywhere. I got some gum. I'm probably gonna put all the little stuff into this bag because I do not wanna lose none of this stuff. And plus this has to go in the second room anyway, so I might as well put it all in here. It's, okay, we don't need this. So that was really the first night. We were just drinking, we were just eating, and then we ended up going to one of these lounges. So you know what we found out? Things don't start popping off for them until Sunday. So you know how our weekend is Saturday, Sunday? Theirs is Sunday, Monday. That's what I found out. It definitely was still a vibe, but the fact that we left on Monday, so it's like, we ain't really get to experience their weekend, their full weekend. We only experienced Sunday. That was really it. It is what it is because now I know that when I do travel, I'm gonna look into how their weekends are. Because I mean, if that's the case, that means a lot of countries may not start their weekend until Sunday or Monday or Tuesday, who knows? But um, anyways, that's besides the point. We went to Shisha and we got some hookahs. They were playing some good music. It was chill or whatever. That's how we ended our night over at Shisha. And once we got done with Shisha, we went home, finished drinking some more. Like we went to back to the bar, started drinking some more. And after that, we just crashed. I don't know what happened after that, but we definitely crashed. And then the next day, basically, we did all of our excursions. Oh my God, y'all, we went parasailing. We were having a beach day. We did the kayak photo shoot. That was amazing. Looks like I'm done. Turks and Caicos was just a vibe. We got home safe. When we got to the United States, customs was actually not bad. It still was a long ass line. Hold on. All right, y'all, I'm back. The freaking camera actually just freaking died on me, so. We gonna wrap it up in a minute. I just wanted to like, you know, finish off of everything that I did. So it looks like we are fully unpacked, you guys. I'm just taking all of my shoes out. Okay, we're gonna take all of them out because we don't no longer need them. I'm gonna have to vacuum this damn floor but for right now. All right. Ever 
since I moved to North Carolina, I always wanted to go parasailing and definitely could have did it, but I just never got the chance to. I told myself, when we go to Turks and Caicos, we're going parasailing. Like that's one of the excursions. Like I don't care. I don't care what else we do. I already did jet skiing and all that, but one thing I'm going to do is parasail. <laughs> I told him that and he was like, he was like, I already know. And I'm like, yeah, as long as we on the same page, because that's all I want to do. I want to do parasailing. Look at this. It's just a bunch of stuff that I threw in last second. <laughs> Ooh, look, and it's the Turks and Caicos bag that they gave us. We ended up taking this baby home. And then I just have a lot of stuff. So let's see what we got in here. So we got our passports. Let me make sure everything's in here. Looks like everything's in there. Cause we had to make sure we had our vaccination cards. Oh, that's one thing I did want to let you guys know. They don't give a damn about your vaccination cards. I feel like once you fill out the information online, I feel like they don't care to check your vaccination card because they never, they never checked it. They never checked it. So that's some good tea for you guys. Whoever wants to know if you're going to Turks and Caicos, they don't even check. Next thing I have is this makeup bag. It looks a freaking mess. Like it legit looks a mess. I don't even want to look at it, but it has like all my little makeups or whatever. Got my makeup brush. I got my lip pencil. Beauty blender. I got all of this stuff. I gotta clean it. I had some floss. Some tickets. Oh my God. This is my red dress. I'm supposed to wear this to the fancy dinner, but we had no time, you guys. We had a rush and we didn't have time to go back to the resort. So we were just like, okay, let's just wear what we're wearing now, which wasn't bad at all. We still look bomb as fuck. <laughs> okay. And then I had my new heels that I never got to wear, but best believe our dinner during this weekend, I'm going all out on this, okay? Nail polish and a charger. <laughs> And then that's it. All right, you guys, this is actually the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.